Hello again and welcome back to, I think this is part 7 of uh, building a server. Right, since uh, since I went off uh, off camera last time, I've now installed the two um, Antec water coolers over each of the uh, processors. As you can see, I've got the radiators mounted on the top of the case here, with the fans directly above the radiators between between them and the case itself. Um, I think it's quite a neat job at the end of the day. Uh, I do have a third slot here for a for a third 120 millimeter fan. Um, if I if I uh, if I had the need, I'm not too sure I do need it at this point in time. Um, although just to give you an idea, it's an autumn day uh, here in uh, in Western Australia, and the temperature. The ambient temperature is 33 degrees centigrade, um, so you can see how important it is to make sure that I, I am able to control the cooling. When you start to get 1000 watt power supplies and processors and hard drives and DVD drives all spinning away um, in, the, in, in, in the back office room. So clearly it, it, it's, it's vital that we do make sure that the cooling is adequate. Um, until I actually have this thing uh, operating um, in a in a working environment, I don't really know the effects um, that the uh, temperatures could have uh, on it. So I'm playing um, cautious at the moment. Right, just to tell you what I did, other than install, installing the the, uh, the coolers, obviously I, I I messed around with the orientation of them. Um, Trying to get the pipes as neat as possible. These will, these will be zip tied together and made to look a bit neater uh, at the end of the day. So this isn't the finished item at all. All I've done really is I've attached the coolers, screwed down there the pump brackets. Um, I've tried to make them the same orientation, so the logos are facing the same direction on both of them, just just to make it look a bit more attractive. These are the um, these are the cables are going to be. The fan headers on the motherboard. Um, I think they're driving the the, the fan itself, the, the, the power unit for the fan itself. Then there's also another cable coming out of here, going up to the fans at the back of the radiators. So that's both those fans are going to their own uh, individual uh, fan headers on the motherboard. Um, the one thing which I did have, one problem I did have, is uh, as you can see, I've also attached the um, the actual. 24 pin and 8 pin cables at the top of the motherboard. I didn't have enough cable, unfortunately, um, from when I originally poked it through the back. Let me just show you what I'm on about. Um, and I've had to take the, um, the power unit out of this computer uh, while I've been fitting these water coolers. This cable here, the main 24 pin cable, um, didn't stretch far enough coming through its original grommet hole. So I've had to remove the, the power unit and feed the cables through first and they're on a really really tight 90 degree bend um, coming up through this other grommet hole which gives me a more direct line up to uh, the grommet hole at the top where I need to get to for the, um, for the power unit. Uh, sorry for the uh, motherboard connection. I think it's somewhat um, ironic that a Corsair case and a Corsair power unit, and they haven't thought through the um, the fact that because their larger power units are so long, uh, that in actual fact this grommet is almost redundant. Um, they needed to really, I think, either have a third set of grommets, uh, one for um, a shorter, uh, you know, a physically smaller power unit, so those those power units can still take a, a feed straight up. But also, when you get to these longer power units, you really need um, more space to actually um, get get to the, um, the back the back here. Otherwise, I'm having to come all the way over here to the second one. To go all the way back again afterwards, um, and unfortunately, it's um, it's it's not practical. 
But that's just a minor issue. I've got round it. Um, it was I said, it, 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 I got round it easily. The thumb screws made it very easy uh, to undo the power units, so that was a blessing. I could just unscrew them, take the power off. It was all done in a matter of minutes. But I just thought I'd mention that um, in passing because I think things like that are useful because these are these are issues that you might not necessarily think about. So it's crucial when you're looking at the power unit that its physical size will marry up with any entrance holes if you're going to um, do some sort of um, cable management like I'm attempting to do here. So, um, the next stage in the game, now I've installed the, power, the coolers, um, and might I say it took more time to install the coolers than it did to put anything else in. Um, you know, that, 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 was, that, was, uh, that was quite a lengthy process. Um, but yes, certainly the next stage after that now is I'm going to be putting the hard drives in. Um, I'm looking forward to that, simply because I'd, I'd be wanting to use this, um, these, these uh, hot swap bays, and I'd just love to see uh, how they actually work in real life. I've only, uh, I've only seen it done on a, a YouTube review, but um, it does look great fun, doesn't it, when you just pull that and out it slides. And, um, I do like that. Um, I'm quite sure I bought this just purely just for, just, just for that little treat, actually. I don't think I bought it for any other reason. <laughs> but, um, but there we go. So, um, next time you see me, I'll have put the four hard drives in here, and I'll let you know any issues that I came across when installing the hard drives. And I'll also put the DVD drives in the, uh, in the, in the, in, in, in the top two as well. So, um, speak to you soon.